In the last video, I showed you how to upgrade from Serato DJ Intro to the full version of DJ. As an alternative to upgrading your software, you can upgrade your whole hardware setup uh, to a more advanced product. The DJ SB is in a range of three different controllers, uh, which are all designed for performance DJing with Serato DJ. The two other models in the range both come with a full version of Serato DJ and have more features built into the hardware. The SB is the entry level model in the range of Serato DJ controllers. You've got four performance pads on each deck, the playback controls, uh, obviously two platters and a two channel built in MIDI mixer. This is the most stripped down version of the DDJ range. It's also the smallest in the range too. The next product up being the mid-range product is the DDJ SR. And that one also ships with Serato DJ as opposed to intro. So straight away you've got more features in the software. Rather than having four performance pads and four transport controls at the bottom, you've just got eight performance pads. So you can use eight hot cues, you've got eight buttons for the roll and slicer effects too. They're actually effects which are new to the SR which aren't on the SB. You've got access to the sampler and you'll have access to all four sample banks and you've got up to six samples which you can use on each deck. Like the SB, the SR has four different options for performance. On top of that you've got what's called Pad Plus which takes these four options and adds something extra. So the hot cue turns into hot cue roll, meaning if you press a hot cue it's going to keep on looping that cue point. The roll effect turns to a trans effect which means that each button becomes different timing and at that timing it cuts the music in and out. Kind of like using the crossfader like a scratch DJ. The combo effects mode combines both the filter and whichever effect you have set on effects one, two, and three. You've got a high pass filter that cuts down and then the effect that's on activates as well. When using sampler with pad plus, it turns to sampler roll. And like the hot cue roll, you can press one of the samplers, but if you hold down the button, it's gonna keep on rolling that sample. When you're rolling either a hot cue or a sample, you can use the parameter buttons to change the actual roll timing. So whether you're on one beat, half beat, or quarter beat, you can change between all those different timings, which you can see on the timing indicator of the SR. The looping functions move from the pads to its own separate section. So you can use the looping feature uh, in conjunction with the sampler, rather than like on the SB, having to use one or the other. You've also got a much more extensive control over the FX. So rather than turning them on and off individually and having one master level, you've got a level control for each effect. Alternatively, if you use the multi effect mode, you can control each parameter of one single effect separately. You've also got the option to control decks two and four or one and three. So you can control up to four decks through the SR straight out of the box. The mixer section on the SR is a bit more advanced than it is on the SB. You've now got a volume control for the sampler. You've also got an auxiliary and a mic input, which means you can plug like a CDJ or a turntable straight into the SR. On the front of the SR, you've got more controls too. You've got a crossfader curve adjust where you can go from sort of very fine like cutting for scratching or a much longer crossfader for long, longer blends like mixing house. You've also got a mic control on the front too. The outputs on the SR are a professional grade quarter inch jack. Uh, you've got the choice between that jack or a phono output. If you use the jack output, then you can use the phonos for a booth monitor. You've also got a control on the back for the volume. The top of the range model is the DDJ SX, and that follows the same principle as the SR and the SB. It's got four different pad modes and it has eight pads per deck. You've also got options to control decks one and three and two and four, so up to four deck mixing, but you've also got the option to have dual deck control on each deck. So when pressing dual deck, I could scratch two tracks at once. Each deck now has a new reverse button, and you've got a needle search so you can scrub through the track quickly. The platter itself is illuminated so you can see at what point in the track you are, and also if you're scratching it will show you the movement of the platter. Just like the SR, we've got hot cue, roll, slicer and sampler, and once you're in one of these modes, the eight pads link to that, that feature. The SX comes with an integrated real mixer, and that means that it controls Serato DJ, but it also doubles as a real mixer as well. So we can plug in phono and line inputs to the mixer so we can use two decks within Serato DJ, but then we could use two CDJs or two turntables with it as well. So we've got built in real EQ, real faders and real filters in each channel as well. Each channel also has a level volume meter. You've also got a master level meter in the center. On the front of the SX, we can choose the input mode for each channel. So we can set to PC for Serato control, or we've got phono and line in channels one and two, or mic and CD on channels three and four. CD is a line input, so you can use like CDJs or any, any input in that as well. And you've also got the option to put the mic into channels three and four. Like the SR, we've got a crossfader curve adjustment. We've also got a touch sensor level for the platters. This determines how much pressure is actually needed to be applied onto the platter before it will pick up your movement. The SX comes with professional grade connections. You've got XLR and phono on the master out. 
you've also got quarter inch jack on the booth, so there's no issues at all if you wanted to tour with an SX and bring it into a club. So just to recap, we've got the DDJ SB, which is our entry level product in the DDJ Serato controller range. Moving upwards from that, we've got the SR, which features the same performance functions as the SB with a few more features too. We've also got the SX, which is like the SR, but has dual deck control and a real four channel mixer built in. For any more information on the SX or the SR, we have both walkthrough and demonstrations of both on our YouTube channel.